the Biggs and Bar Show. Hey, good morning. I'm Chris Biggs. I'm Jason Barr. That is Jamie. Good morning. Welcome to the uh, program. We hope everyone had a good time with burgers for breakfast on Friday. There's none left over in the no. fridge, are there? I okay. don't know. I doubt it. No, no. We have all the burgers. We're already. out. Okay. I, I, was just, I was just being hopeful. There's one cookie on the table still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has uh, raisins in it. It does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't read. read. I'm, I'm all eat it. You know. <laughs> I know you. Uh, I saw something the weekend. I want your opinions on. Okay. And anyone else listening? Uh, so whatever. Just driving around. This uh, pickup truck. It's a very simple story. Pickup truck had a uh, decal on the back window of a fist giving the finger. Okay. Like to anyone behind it, right? Right. Okay. Like don't ride my butt or. I'm the toughest guy in town, whatever okay. whatever the finger was sure. for. That, I mean, you see those all the time. Sure. That didn't phase me. I was like, oh, this guy, look at this cool guy. And then uh, I pulled up beside him, and the side of his truck had his business. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Done and whatever, the same type yeah, of like yeah, yeah. lettering and phone number. And I was like, is there no one in your life <laughs> that said, hey, you know what? Like, does he sit at home on the weekends? Like, why does I no one call my business? Because <laughs> I have a giant middle finger on the back of my truck. I was, it just blew now my mind. Curious. It how is a, stupid yeah. this person was. It's yeah. a select audience, right? Who would also who would like your middle finger uh, sticker and also call your business? And but isn't the point yeah, of business small, to make as much yeah, business yeah. as possible? You would, think. Well, yeah, yeah. Like I was like, what was the mindset? But even he's if he's a local dude, he might even listen to us. I don't know. Like even if you but, didn't have a business number on the side of your truck, how, like, what is your thinking of putting the middle finger on as a sticker? Is it a joke? Like, his bumper stickers are always just the, the same joke every day. Is this, yeah. And he's just always that angry? Yeah. No, I, I would never, like, I would I question the finger, but I would have, yeah. you see those everywhere. Yeah, Everyone's you see, shirt, yeah, like. Cool guys in, or test balls hanging, or whatever. I, like, people can decorate their truck any way they sure want. Sure they can, I, yeah. It doesn't offend me. I'm not offended oh, no, by no, I'm not thing. offended. I just find it curious. Yeah, it's like, why would you do that? But then the fact that it was your business, business vehicle yeah. on top of it blew my mind. It literally, I was like, what the type balls of business? on yeah. this guy. What type of business was it? <laughs> uh, it was like a, like a home reno type business. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we know a guy who has an arch nemesis in their little business that they uh, yeah. do with each other. Yeah, yeah. And he posted on his business page an argument of them yelling back at each other. Right. And that was, I was like, this is your business. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is your business yeah, that but you we, used to make money. But we know this guy. We like. I understand yeah. that. And yeah. like, knowing who he is, maybe we can assume, this, assume that this, this other is same. guy is kind of in the same mindset as him. Because it is odd that you would want to advertise and then also... Mm. If you like, don't call me, F you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I was just, I just, I just like, what? But if yeah, you're approaching not. from well, behind, it would be like, call you. It'd be like okay. F you, and then also call my business. Yeah, that's yes. what I mean. Yeah. Like, who's calling this guy's business? Yeah. I don't know. Well, you should call and ask him. Did you get the number? <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I was laughing way that's too a hard. Shame. <laughs> I was like tears running out my face. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. This guy hates his own business. Yeah. <laughs> this guy doesn't want any business. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just, I was really confused. So, yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I can see why. Yeah, if, if you're a young lad about to start your own business, yes. tip one: <laughs> don't put profanity on the truck. That it's yeah. not really profanity, but any sort of <laughs> yeah. Don't advertise your political yeah. views. Yeah, yeah. Put prof yeah some sort of what could be deemed offensive. Oh, speaking of yeah, signs, uh, oh, the yeah. guy with the giant uh, Trudeau's China's bum boy sign, that oh, was yeah, that yeah, huge. Yeah, uh -huh. He's had to change it. Oh, really? They, they made it change Back it to the old one. It just says uh, uh, Trudeau sucks. Oh, right? okay. Right, right. Which is acceptable because it's not homophobic. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> giant. Yeah. I was like, what? That, yeah. that was the problem with it? Yeah. I think, I don't know, maybe. Okay. Eh, well, Trudeau sucks is fine, I guess, according to the neighborhood. <laughs> where this guy puts his giant... <laughs> Sign like across, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. They seem fairly similar in in intention. Sure, <laughs> yes. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was just the, the yeah. phrasing, the phrasing of yeah, people might have had a problem with. I but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. People like displaying their. Oh uh, yeah, their they're disdain for, uh, for sure. politicians. Thankfully, well. a guy I'll never be friends with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not because of his political no, stance, no, but because of how dumb he is. <laughs> On the Bigs and Bar Show. Well, Ontario reported 740 new cases of COVID-19 yesterday, along with two more deaths. Most of those cases in people who were not fully vaccinated. 
or whose vaccination status was unknown. Starting today, Canadians flying across the ocean will not have to quarantine upon their arrival as the UK adds Canada to its green list. Uh, the rule change is not dependent on vaccination status, but travelers will still need to take COVID-19 tests within uh, three days for leaving for the UK and another one two days after arrival. Seems like a pain in the ass. I'll just wait. Uh, e-scooters may not be the only electric vehicle on Ottawa City streets. The uh, city is looking to implement a pilot project, uh, electric cargo bikes. They're going to start with a fleet of 25 in the downtown core for the first two years of the five-year uh, pilot program. And then they're going to try them in other areas. Now, they say uh, the bikes could also eventually be used by families to transport children around the city and be used by tourists. But it sounds very strange. Yeah. Because they're cargo bikes. Right. So do you just like pack your kids in a box <laughs> and put them on these e-bikes and head around? I don't, I don't really understand. I haven't seen one, but the, <laughs> but the text of it seems odd to me. <laughs> just, just sit in the milk crate, son. You'll yeah, be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Uh, Canada's quest for gold at the Women's World Hockey Championship resumes today. The undefeated Canadians take on Switzerland in the tournament's semifinal. Now, the defending champion Americans won a win away. From uh, from that final as well, they take on Finland in the other semifinal. Um, Jays opened up a three-game series against the worst team in the majors today. I thought for a second they were playing themselves, but it's not. Uh, Toronto hosts the Baltimore Orioles. The Rogers Center Jays have actually won two in a row. Um, yeah, mix of sun and cloud today. Maybe some showers. High at 27. Still kind of humid, feeling like 32. And then tomorrow, mix of sun and cloud, 24. Uh, Wednesday, sunny and 24 again, and the uh, humidity seems to be going away. Right now, it's 22. That's the latest. Hey, it's us. Good morning to you. Uh, we got a uh, massive deeds announcement for our final deed. Oh, yeah. Coming up at, at 8 o'clock. I know it's a long time away, but if you want to set your alarm on your phone or something to remind you, you probably don't want to miss out on that announcement. Uh, also going to get um, into this McDonald's fiasco that's been happening yeah, like, uh, over the past week. Number one trending thing yesterday with everything in the world. Like good on their PR team. Yeah. Like, oh, awesome. oh, yeah. They're doing great. Um, and if you're going to steal a car, we, we <laughs> highly <laughs> recommend you don't. But if you are, check the back for bodies. That's all. I mean, it's a simple, <laughs> simple tick on the list of things you should probably do. Uh, we'll explain that all. On the Bigs and Bar Show. When I was a kid, I used to steal my parents' car all mm-hmm. the t- all the time, uh, either my mom's car or my grandmother's car, one of the two. Okay, and I never really thought to check for a dead well, body. In you the borrowed back. it. You yeah. didn't steal it. Uh, th- you okay. brought it back. Yes, I brought it back at the end of an uh, evening of billiards right. with my cool friends. Sure. Right. Um, but never have I stolen like a car that I didn't know the people. Right. You know? <laughs> that makes it okay then. Yeah, well, it's family, right? Sure. <laughs> Keep it in the family. But a car was stolen, uh, but it, it was a mortuary van. Now, if you guys were to steal a mortuary van. Like a hearse or just a van? Just says mortuary van. Okay. I don't think it was a professional hearse. Like one of those, like, sprinter type things? Okay. Whatever. Where they transfer bodies, probably a little less, uh, like, hey, look, there's a body in yeah. here. Okay. Like, like a hearse would do. Um, so he stole it and took off and they chased him. P- pretty quickly they were on him. But he didn't look in the back. <laughs> and a body fell out. And there's some audio from a, a police officer. There was a body on a gurney inside the van at the time. The hatch was open. So when the suspect did take off, the gurney did roll out of the back of the van. Our suspect did strike a couple of vehicles. Ultimately, he hit did? a trailer of some sort and blew a tire. No, just the guy um, in the van. Oh, I, I thought the body on the gurney was like banging <laughs> into oh, cars rolling and down was the going road. down the Probably head. was, too. I mean, I think I'll, it came I'll, out pretty quick. Like, I think the body was early in the chase. <laughs> chase. What, what, a, what, a, what a day. I, what a day for that I'll be honest. Yeah. That is something I, I have always wanted to see. Like a body out of like a hearse, like a casket roll at the back of a hearse, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. Just going down the street. That, oh, would, that would make my day. Oh, sure. Hilarious. You wouldn't know. Like, if you just were, like, walking out of a coffee shop and you saw a body whip by on a stretcher, basically, uh-huh. a gurney or whatever, yeah, you'd yeah. be like, what, is that a, like a hospital patient escape? Sure, yeah, like, yeah. You would have no idea right. it was a, a dead body just bouncing down the road. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's awful because if it was your family member, you'd be well. They're dead out. anyway, right? Yeah, I know. But a lot of people, people don't think like that, no, like, like we do in that case. Yeah, but like, I'm very sensitive. Like my my <laughs> dad is the most recent relative of mine to have died a couple right. of years ago, and if that had happened to him, he would have thought that was the most hilarious yeah. thing in the world yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. And I would have too. Yeah. <laughs> It's but I guess great. most people wouldn't. <laughs> oh, you're like picture, you're, I'm picturing them like sat up, uh, uh, like uh, arms above their head, like a roll, like like on a roll, like weekend at yeah. Bernie's, like just sure. flapping around, <laughs> going down the road. But I don't think that was the case. But they caught this guy, obviously. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna steal a, a, a white unmarked van from outside Look of a, a crematory, check check the back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Quick glance over the shoulder. Yeah. Take, <laughs> oh, not this one. No. no okay. No, no. <laughs> the Bigs and Bar Show. And you got to give McDonald's credit. They got a great PR team. Oh, <laughs> they do. There's a massive uh, online. Campaign slash debate, debate slash speculation, McGee. McDonald's announced a while ago that something's coming. Something's coming back slash coming. Like, be, be excited. We have a menu item coming that everyone's going to be pumped about, right? And I saw that and I was like, oh, well, hopefully they're bringing back McDonald's pizza. Yeah, that's of what course. the world that was thought. The best. That's what the world thought. Uh, at least Canada, because this is a McDonald's Canada thing. Right. And um, top trending thing. The top trending. Like on the day where New Orleans was getting smacked by a level four hurricane, yeah. right? There was more explosions in Afghanistan. The Canadian yep. election heating up and people getting violent at speeches. Vaccine passports. Vaccine passports. Uh, in pop music, Kanye West dropped a new album, which we don't care about, but it was a big deal for the pop world. Like all these huge trending things. Yes. And still the number one trending thing in Canada was McPizza. Oh, maybe yeah. do some market research and see what people want. Because so that what what are they coming out with the McPizza? They said no, it's not the McPizza. They have released a couple Stupid. tweets since. Uh, the first one was McPizza is trending. Please send help. This is from McDonald's. Then they said uh, McPizza will always just be a part of our history. But I'm taking notes. And then it's not McPizza. Think more spice, less slice. So what is it? Do you think? Well, we're going to find out on the 31st. It says the thing you've been asking for arrives on the 31st. So that's People tomorrow. People have been speculating spicy nuggets? That's that's the top speculating thing okay. because they said more spice, less slice. But I, I mean, I well, believe so. the McRib was also trending. Both would be incredibly disappointing. We Over had the pizza. McRib last time it came out. It was very, very... Uh, I was Mc Mc disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say... Uh. Uh, you guys might get mad at me for saying okay. this. Okay, all right. That the worst thing on the McDonald's menu, aside from the filet of fish, I was gonna say, filet of fish is great. Aside from you. the filet of fish, I love the filet. Of fish. Are the nuggets? Come on, you are out of your mind. Come on, you are out of your mind. I am even as a child, I didn't like. Oh, them. love them. They are the the worst the nuggets of the nugget. They families. are the pinnacle of the nugget game. Of all They're the, the fast worst food nuggets, no, the way. worst, no, the way. absolute best, no question, full stop. No. Zero arguments. You're not good at okay. all. <laughs> like, not at all good. Oh, they're great. I love them. I got to side with Jamie. They're amazing. Wendy's, Wendy's, three different shows. That's my opinion. Wendy's only. aren't bad. Harvey's I've never had. Uh, have Burger them. King's are terrible. And, yeah, I got to put like, my the guy. on the top. Yeah. So, like, I just never understood why people enjoyed them. Now, I've heard mm. from a few people... Uh, because I put out some social posts about this McPizza thing. Some people that worked back at McDonald's in like the late 80s, early 90s, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It said it was the worst for people working there because it took so long. Oh, I don't uh, care. And people lost their minds in the drive through constantly. And it was a never ending headache because they don't really have. But you can't make pizza quick. Like, I you would can't think... just have pizza ready made unless you do like. Little Caesars and just have them already like one. Oh well, yeah, no topping, what they do? no like, topping choices. Like there's a there's a company that does it quite well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They <laughs> do it. They maybe do it ask well. for a little consulting. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, get to lick the the Mc Pizza Caesar, the Mc Caesar Mc Pizza. Like combine, bring them in, throw them on the menu. Little Mc Pizza. Oh, yeah. But well, that's it, disappointing. Yeah, it's another. Spicy I don't know what it's gonna nuggets. be. Oh, we don't know if that's what it is, but they just said it's gonna be spicy. Maybe it's the big extra. That wasn't very spicy, though. You're right. Like I was thought, I thought maybe it could be the Mc, the McDLT too. Like a that was spicy a spicy chicken sandwich because everyone else is making a chicken sandwich. Well, they have they, that. They, they have, have that. Have the those. Those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. commercials where people can't breathe. Well, then it's the eating. spicy nuggets, and that's that's disappointing. 
Unless it's a spicy Big Mac, maybe. Wow. We'll, we'll have to wait a day. Uh, we'll have to wait a day to find out. <laughs> <laughs> what will, what will we do? I don't know. But <laughs> just keep being gross. <laughs> <laughs> the Bigs and Bar Show. Fire. Instant answer question time. Instant answer question time. Instant answer question time. Hey, yo, text us. 762-555. Text the show. We'll text you back. No, we won't, but we'll answer fast. If the average human lifespan was 40 years old, how would you live your life differently? Well, well right now I'd be dead. Yeah, I'd be dead. Yeah, I'd be dead right now. So. so if the average lifespan was 40, that means I would have lived to about 30. So nothing. Yeah. I would have done nothing. I wouldn't even yeah. have had any children. Yeah, mm. basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, but if you knew that was the case, yeah. probably waste less time in school. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know if that's long enough to really build any sort of significant... I mean, for some people, but most people. Sure. I don't know. I, I think we'd waste a lot less time stuck in things. Or you'd oh, waste probably. time in the things that you like to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How so, you waste your time. Yeah, that's all life that's is. all life is, yeah, yeah. how you waste your time. If you could get an exotic pet, what would it be? Oh, like, I've always any, wanted a capuchin monkey. Yeah, you have. You're talking about that. There's quarter. one at the Saunders Country Cruiser Zoo in... Uh, Camp Philly, Oxford Station, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's great. Do you remember his name? I think it's Mickey. Mickey, <laughs> give Mickey a shout out. I think it's Mickey. He's he's hilarious. Yeah. I would pay the fee just to go see Mickey. Yeah, yeah to hang out with your <laughs> when he <laughs> wants when he wants to uh, get the attention of his handlers of his of yeah. the zookeepers. Mm. He goes and the water bottle is on the outside, like a hamster bottle for him. I think yeah, they yeah. tried to get it out of his way, but he reaches his hand through, chucks it in the air, and goes. Ah! <laughs> Until they come over and replace it and give them attention. It's hilarious. Uh, does Adam secretly want to be a DJ? I keep hearing his voice. That's about our boss, Adam. He, right. he did. He was for a long time. He can do it. Yeah, he, can, he does He does Fills fine. in from time to time. Yeah, yeah. You'll hear him filling in. He's, he's uh, I think he started as a jock, maybe. Sure. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's fine. Don't let him, don't let his um, annoying tone. <laughs> uh, get to you? No, no. He he means well. He's just yeah. uh, he's just broken. That's all. Yeah. Um. How was Friday? Oh, somebody already asked again. They asked again how Friday was. It was oh, great. It was uh, very good. Yeah. If you're into deeds, though, if you want to know our next deed, we will be making an announcement uh, at around eight o'clock this morning. Um, the biggest deed of the year for sure, and it will take place on uh, well Friday, but the announcement will be at eight o'clock today. What's your favorite spider? My favorite from spider? Roberta. Yeah. Um, if I had to pick a favorite spider, probably like a tarantula. I, big, I, I held guy. a tarantula. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I like the, are they, they're called jumping spiders. The one with the huge oh, yeah. eyes. The little, yeah. the little guys are cute. They always look like they're, uh, they just saw like uh, the devil. Like they uh -huh. just look so <laughs> nervous all the time with the big eyes. <laughs> Those guys are great. The huntsman spiders freak me out a little bit. The They're ones massive, like crabs. Right? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that Australia where yeah. they are? Yeah, terrible place, Australia. Absolutely awful place. If you get a breakfast, sorry, yes, Jason, that was what I was going to ask. If you get a breakfast sandwich combo, do you eat the hash brown separately or do you add it to the sandwich? Separate. I separate. Eat separate, yeah. I've done both because I wanted to try it and mm -hmm. I'm back to separate for sure. If I do get one of those Tim's Farmer's Wraps, it has the hash brown in it. I, I don't mind it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't take the time to do it on my own. I'm, I don't eat most of the hash browns. I don't like most of them. What? I don't like McDonald's hash browns. I, I like them if they're hot and crispy. Once they've sat a while and they're kind of soppy, greasy, they're it's not too my greasy. Friend. It's the yeah. most. It's the greasiest thing ever. Yeah, they don't eat a salad. Ain't. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Because they're the before? best hash browns. Okay. Never heard anyone in my life say they don't like the McDonald's hash browns. They are greasy though. Sure. I don't okay. like them. Tim Hortons are the absolute worst. They're like hockey pucks. They're yeah, so I've, I've never had one on its They're own. They're awful. And a and W by far the best. a and W's great. They're by far the best. All right. If you want to get it. Man, we've talked a lot about fast food today. Yeah, we have. Well, everybody mm. eats. I guess, uh, yeah. We should do a, instead of everybody hurts, we yeah, should remake. Everybody eats. Okay, man. Eat we, can get, get we did some, it. Get That's somebody it. else to sing it. <laughs> that, was, that was awful. That's it for another edition of It's an The Bigs and Bar Show. This is Auto What? Auto What? Auto What? Auto What? Auto What?
Five questions, 30 seconds to answer them. You can pass any question and come back, but you got to get them all right. We don't tell you what's right or wrong until the end. And if you win, you get a chip for a Plinko board, which can win you up to $1,000. We gave away 1000 bucks just a few weeks ago. So, last I mean, week. Yeah, was it last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just last week. It was last week, eh? Yeah. Damn. I don't know who's on the phone and hear their name. Some guy's laughing a lot. I know that. Uh, oh, hey, good morning. What's your name? Mark. Mark, are you ready to go? Let's try. Remember, it's a new uh, new place, okay? The first question. It's pretty new honest. place. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we All right, Mark, your time will begin after I ask the first question. In what city will you find the NHL's Sharks? San Jose. In regards to auto racing, what does the F and F1 stand for? Formula. Based on weight, what is the strongest muscle in the human body? Oh, pass. What video game featuring Ken and Ryu was released 34 years ago today? Oh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> was running through a sprinkler actually fun? <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, uh, you're out of time. You're out of so, time. Unfortunately, Mark, uh, you will not be a winner today, but we're going to go over your answers anyway. Uh, was running <laughs> through a sprinkler actually fun? Mark said yes. Jamie has written no, no here for stupid. some reason. Never enjoyed it. Why not? I don't know. It is like one of the most yeah, I know, universally I celebrated enjoying things to do for kids in the summer. So, so Mark, Mark is right. Yeah, I would yeah. say Mark is All right. right. Why didn't you like it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't, really like care. It, right? I don't really care. <laughs> I was just trying to think of a question. <laughs> I, have no, I have no answer today. I'm sorry. All right. What video game featuring Ken and Ryu was released 34 years ago today? Uh, Mark said Dragon Ball Z. No. It was actually Street Fighter. Yep. Uh, based on weight, what is the strongest muscle in the human body? Is it thigh? Uh, Mark passed. No, it's the Your masseter. Your masseter. It has to do with chewing. Ah, yeah, uh, your yeah, jaw. Yeah, yeah. Mastication. Yeah, and yapping mm-hmm. your trap. Uh, in regards to form, to Ottawa uh, auto racing, uh, what does the F and F one stand for? It was formula, and uh, Mark did know that you would find the NHL Sharks in the city of San Jose. Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> That's it for that one. That's it. Right. The last one was like three hours long. This was a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark. Well, have a great day, buddy, and uh, thanks for trying. Okay. He's got. He's got hung up. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, you know, we always say you got. He took way too long on the pause. Yeah, oh, you yeah. could have passed. On the thinking. Well, gone to Google. If, if you up. don't, if you don't know, keep keep rolling. Or you get, we'll get you. The thirty seconds will get you. <laughs> We have a, a big announcement about deeds, only about 45 minutes away. All right, so if you are uh, interested, it benefits everybody again, just like Free Burgers did. What? And coming up, we have maybe the biggest curmudgeon in the city. Oh, I think so. Oh, the hey, guy who hates us. A is, legendary uh, curmudgeon. Legendary curmudgeon. Yeah, well, we might have to rename the guy who hates us to the guy who hates all. I don't think he hates us anymore. He just hates everything. He hates all. Yeah. The man who hates all. But we'll uh, introduce you to him if you don't know. Coming up on Chip with us. The Ducky Line is the answering machine for the Bigs and Bar Show. They call it the Ducky Line because the last four digits spell D-U-G-Y. Leave a message by calling 613-216-3849 or 613-216-Ducky. So you might remember if you listened to our show for a while, you might not. But we used to have a guy, we called the guy who hates us, and he, he called us pretty regularly and just tore us apart. And then he said he didn't hate us after a while. So we engaged him and we talked to him, we even called him, and then we got him to kind of flip and he became the guy who just sort of disliked us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and he's back. We haven't heard from him forever. And now he's left a whole slew of messages. Not about us, though, anymore. Oh, no. no. About different things he dislikes. And which one do you want to start with, James? We're going to start with, we'll go in chronological order. Okay. Something, something right. got him going Saturday night, and here it is. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, the music that was on between uh, 840 and quarter 845 on Saturday night sucked. So we look back at what that was. So it was Pearl Jam. It was Pearl Jam. Yeah, it was... Uh, and it was just one song. Yeah. Because we were doing... It wasn't like a Pearl Saturday Jam weekend? Saturday concert series. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. a Pearl Jam concert. So I don't know exactly what song it was, because it doesn't give the log of the, the, the songs concert. the concert. Yeah, but yeah. It, it was it was Pearl Jam yeah. of some sort. So. Okay. I don't know what kind of music you're playing. Pearl Jam. But that sucked. That's not rock and roll. That's not even rock. That's not even roll. That's... I don't know what it is. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl Jam. Jam. Pearl Jam. 
It was a whole concert. Like it was the, probably said it a million times coming in at a commercials. Yeah. If you just yeah. stuck yeah. around, you could. But anyways, okay. So not not a fan of Pearl Jam. Okay, fair not enough. a fan of Pearl no, Jam. That's fine. Uh, and then he left another one, right? We got more things to say. Yeah. Oh, oh for sure. All right. Well, listen. Uh, here's my message. Charlie Watts just died, 80 years old. He's a legend. True. J106 started in 1977. Yeah. Far yeah. from legend. Untrue. Yeah. Untrue. Yeah. It's not, it's, not, it's not a true fact. It's a, across the entire country. We're in the industry, we can tell you. Yeah, yeah. The whole country. Yeah. Legend. 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 Legendary. This radio station's legendary. Like, in the industry. So, uh, why are you mad? <laughs> well, here. Stop calling yourselves a legend. No. You're far from a legend. You're a legendary Classic, curmudgeon. outdated, uh, putting all this new sh** into it, I don't understand. So oh, what is how can you be second. classic, outdated, and playing new stuff? How is, is that even which possible? Which does he matter at? The outdated or the new stuff? Hmm. I what don't is he, like, What does he want us to do? Well, here. Like, leave it the way it was. Old, classic rock. So, so he likes do. classic so rock. So outdated, then. So he likes classic rock. But he just said... He doesn't like it. I'm very That's confused. it. You want to do anything? Change it up. Huh. Put some fifties and sixties into wow. it. That's a, what? what? Like what? Elvis? What do you want? What do you want on this radio? But but you're mad that we're out. I don't. I've... He wants us to play classic rock from when the radio station launched in 1977. And that's it. That's it. Yeah, but we play a lot of seventies on of this radio station. Play a lot of eighties. Sure. Play some nineties. Play some new stuff. So mix everything. He just okay. doesn't like anything. He doesn't like anything. I don't he, think he likes anything. He no, called, I don't think so. He called back here. I get about the same He called thing? a third time. No, this one's about an experience he had. Okay. And tough day. Tough day Saturday, I guess, for, for this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not- well, here's my message this time. Okay. I went to a, a, a restaurant on Preston that opened up at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. Waited an hour for him to open. It was raining. They finally wait, opened. Wait, 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 wait. What time did you so get there? You went you there an hour. There eight? You went there an hour before they opened, and you were mad at them, <laughs> as opposed to just finding out what time they opened. And then, so it's, I think there's a reason he couldn't look it up. And yeah. then he was mad. It was raining too. Yeah, that, that was the restaurant's fault, yeah. also for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it's still raining out. So I asked them, "Is it okay if I eat inside?" Oh yeah, no problem. So I said, "Can I come in?" Oh, you got a smartphone? No. Oh, sorry, I can't serve you. No smartphone. What? I'm going for breakfast. I got cash. And I can't even see the menu because I don't have a smartphone. What the f***? Like, where do we live here? In Siberia or f***ing whatever? Anyway, just ridiculous. Ridiculous. What the f***? Is everybody walking around with $1,000 smartphones in their pockets? Yes, yes, everybody. They are. They're pretty f***ing crazy, if you ask me. Well, then the whole world's crazy. They also had breakfast that day. Like, I have a 75-year-old uh, <laughs> mother who has a smartphone. Yeah. yeah. And uses it better than I do. My 80-year-old father-in-law has uh, three smartphones. Three smartphones? Yes. Yeah. Uh, one for his thermostat, one for his hearing aid, and then another one just for all the other stuff he does. Is he from yeah. Siberia? Yeah. yeah. No. Because <laughs> oh. that's apparently where smartphones wow. are from. Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he has more technology in his house than I will ever have. Yeah. <laughs> now, it does seem a little early for that restaurant to be implementing. I've seen it. Because they don't want you phone. touching the menus. And they don't want to have to clean yeah. them and stuff like that. Because they want to. I've been to. You know. But, sure, but I mean that could be aided. That could be done by a waiter saying, well, what would sure. you like? What were my, you thinking guess of? Well, is, we have this. We have that. My guess yeah. is he didn't get all the details. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. My guess is that yeah. there was a miscommunication on his part for sure, and that sure. he wasn't listening no. when they are explaining. And just had a fit because somebody, because yeah. he's a legendary curmudgeon. Yes, he a- is. asked him to change his ways by one millimeter. <laughs> left. Like, where do we live here in Siberia? <laughs> I don't think smartphones matter. I think they matter less in <laughs> Siberia. Siberia yeah, yeah. I think just finding food and not dying is yeah, a priority a insight. Cult. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, wow. We had Man. some comments about this guy oh, already okay. on, okay. uh, on the okay. texting at 762-555. Nicknamed yeah. this guy Oscar the Grouch. He's yeah. never happy. That's, uh, that's Wayne from Cobden. Yeah. Uh, and then this MFer needs to learn how time works. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> in all ways. Yeah. yeah. 
Like to check the time at a restaurant yeah. to, to see that times change and <laughs> things progress. <laughs> like you're never going to stop progression no matter how no, yeah. in your ways you are. <laughs> the world is going to leave you behind. Yeah. That, that you have to progress with the yes. world. Evolve or die, yeah. as they say. That's you know what, it. though? Right. I like this guy because he makes me look like the happiest guy alive. Yeah. <laughs> we found him. Yeah. We found the one guy. The guy. Legendary curmudgeon. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call anytime. The Biggs and Bar Show. Fire. Instant answer question time. Instant answer question time. Instant answer question time. Hey, yo, text us. 762-555. Text the show. We'll text you back. No, we won't, but we'll answer fast. Text us anything you want, 762-555. We will answer as many as we can. Do you pronounce it decal or decal? Decal. I go back and forth. Yeah, like when I was a kid, everyone always said decals. And I always thought that was wrong. And then people said, no, it's decal. And I also didn't like that pronunciation, <laughs> so I just call them stickers. <laughs> decal is what I will say. Yeah. I'm not mad at anyone who says decal. I mean. No, I'm not mad. I just, I just don't. I don't like either of those pronunciations. Glenn here. Have you ever forgotten about what you're looking for while you're shopping? The oh, other day, Kenny and Tara, the young yeah. girl, asked me if she could help me find something. I said no because I'd forgotten what I was looking for <laughs> and just was walking around until I remembered. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're with you, Glenn. It's more, it's, for me, it's when I, I get like a small list. It's always at the grocery store. Right. Like the wife will text, hey, we need this, this, and this. Can yeah. we grab it? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, probably not a text because then I have actually like, have I'd have yeah, a copy tells of it. You, but hey, she get tells this. me, hey, Gary, this. And then I'm like, okay. And then and I know there's something else. Yeah, eight out of ten times I have to call her a text and be like, what were what were the <laughs> I remembered three. What was the what's the yeah, one I'm yeah. not remembering? I but, feel for Glenn because he was yeah. at Canadian Tire because they always have sales on, right? So you yeah, go yeah. in for one thing, you have a purpose, and you're yeah. like, Oh, what's this? What's you looking? And then you forget what you went for. A tea fowl yeah. cookware set. Yeah, I've, I've bought a few things at Canadian Tire that you didn't even go in for. No, of course. Yeah, because the sale was like, I'm like, of course. Ooh. And if I can't really can't remember, then I just go get a fish and lure, and then, <laughs> then at least I don't leave empty handed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you have any rare collectibles? Um, I have a seat from Maple Leaf Gardens. Really? Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. I forget I think you've what told us that before. Yeah. Yeah, and I have um when they were destroying Maple Leaf Gardens and taking mm. it out, we. Knew some people at the construction company, and they got hole saws, and they made puck-sized pieces of the concrete. Oh. And I got a piece of that. Oh, well. Now, it's not labeled or anything right. like that, but that that is where it's from. So it's kind of cool, but I don't know if it's worth anything. <laughs> Do you, uh, you also have your own teeth in a, in a big plastic tube? Yeah, I don't know. I think the, the piece of concrete might be worth more than those. Yeah, I'm just, that's <laughs> rare collectible, though, that yeah, you yeah. collect human sure. teeth. That's weird. My own teeth, though. Yeah, sure. It's when it started, but, I mean, who knows where... It, where it is I now. wouldn't mix other people's teeth with my teeth. They're in a different box. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making me crave McDonald's pepperoni pizza. Please stop talking mm. about it. Uh, that's because the number one trending story over the weekend, well, one mm. of the number ones, was the uh, McDonald's not bringing back the McPizza because they had some big announcements, something's coming, and everyone got really excited. A lot of speculation. A lot of speculation. But it's not the McPizza, which everyone's very upset about. Like, more upset than a level four hurricane crushing the southern coast yes. of the U.S. or our election. The number right. one upset yeah, thing yeah. was that McDonald's is not bringing back well, the pizza. I'm pretty pissed of it is spicy nuggets as yeah. being predicted right now. Yeah. Did any of you watch the uh, Jake Paul fight? Did no. not. No. No. I forgot about it. I have no interest in a uh, YouTuber or whatever you want to call him, a social media star fighting a basically retired. Yeah, Tyron Woodley. Yeah. I like Tyron Woodley player. in the day. He was a good guy, good fighter. People are saying the fight was fixed. Yeah. Well, split decision. Yeah. He's four and zero. Oh, like you gotta. Yeah, but he's fighting guys. No, I know. 30, 40 pounds lighter than him. And I know. Retired. People. Grapplers. Yeah, grapplers. Yeah. <laughs> he's boxing them. Um, and then walking around like he's Mike Tyson. I want Tyson to fight him so bad. I want anyone who's an actual boxer yeah, in their him. prime to fight yeah, him. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. absolutely obliterate him. Like, man. Like, I had, I, you know, my fight, at least I fought a guy my size. That's true. Yeah. You know, I didn't go into the ring with, like, I don't know. A child. Chris from Kiss over here and then oh, brag about it. He's the size of one of your legs. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. just beat the snot out of somebody. <laughs> and then, I don't know. It's ridiculous, but people watch it. And they make money, so. And he doesn't care if he gets knocked out because he's going to make he's 50 mil off it anyways, so. 
he kind of wins all the time. Of course, he's winning. It's not stop when he winning loses, for him. He wins. But I mean, it just shows you how many stupid people there are. And sure. If you yeah. just do tell them enough times, they'll they'll listen. Yep. No, none of the people that listen to Shay though. You're no, all of course. The, the Smart, best, smartest people in the world. You choose this because you know better, right? Am yes. I right? Yes. We yes. don't have to give up free hamburgers to get love around here. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for another edition of. It's an answer question time. We're the Bigs and Bar Show. Hope you're having a decent day. Hope your weekend was all right. We're going to play a contest we call Mouth Music, where we re- recreate a song with our mouths. We are professional <laughs> mouth musicians. And you have to guess what it is by calling uh, 750-1061. All right? And we're just going to give you a, a wee bit of it first. And then as nobody gets it, uh, we'll start to release a little more and more of the actual performance. Okay. Super serious. It is serious. Take this seriously We've been because it's serious. Yeah, we've been told we're not serious enough by our boss. So we're being serious. Here we go. That's all you're getting. Oh, that's it? That's it for right, now. Yeah. Let's go. 750 Let's see. Hi, good morning. What do you think it is? Uh, no idea there, guys. Okay, All right, Robert. Robert. All right, thanks, guys. He calls back in a bit when you hear a little more. Hi, right, good morning, Shay. Who's this? Now they, uh, oh. they heard their first clue and hung right up. Play it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, <laughs> although that might be difficult, if you think about it, yeah. how many songs start off with yeah. that kind of a sound? Yeah. All right. Hi, good morning, Shay. How many songs start off with hey. Steppenwolf? Oh, okay. No, it's not no. Steppenwolf. No. When you what? call in, please. Turn your radio turn down. Your radio turn down. your radio down. Hi, good morning, Shay. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. What, uh, what do you think it is? Girls, 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 Motley Crue. Yeah. Yeah, you're you right. got it. Yeah, you're right. Wow. You're right. What's your name contest wrecker? Brad. Brad. Thanks. Thanks for ruining our right contest. Right on, be rad. No, appreciate it. Appreciate that a lot. You got 100 bucks in Lotto Max. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay, hang yeah, on. on. Yeah, thank you. Really enthusiastic. Thank you. Okay, play the rest of it. Okay, okay. Like ends like does it a, end? I an don't know. Hour ago in the song. That doesn't matter. Ha, yeah, be rad already got it. He already got it. Look, play it. Well, look here. Listen, watch. Okay. Listen. This is how close this was. In case you're confused, this is the real song now. <laughs> yeah, this isn't us anymore. See, still going. I forgot that part. Yeah, it's over. Oh yeah. Yeah, you were still going there, mother. Whatever. Like mouth. Huh? <laughs> it's always about you. Yeah. Always about you. Thanks, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> hey, the answering machine for the Bigs and Bar Show. They call it the Ducky Line because the last four digits spell D U G Y. Leave a message by calling 613 216 3849 or 613 216 Ducky. All right. Well, uh, it's Monday. It's always an interesting batch of Duggies on a Monday. Not as many wobbly pop ones this week. No. Uh, though, and a lot less drunk people than last Monday. But what do you, what do you got, James? Let's start with the guy here asking if we know about a certain product. All right. Okay. Yes. Jamie, congratulations on the uh, kid. Welcome back. Oh, wow. Thanks. Uh, I've been listening to the show, and I thought you guys needed to hear about this. Uh, so I opened my pantry the other day, and I like to eat all kind of nuts. <laughs> so I, I see this tin that I've never seen before. It says blue diamond it's in your pantry. salt and vinegar it's almonds. Wife, 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 and oh God, I oh. immediately opened the can, took a whiff, and it's... It, it kind of blows your mind that you're not sniffing a bag of potato chips like you're sniffing nuts. And uh, it smells like salt and vinegar. And I tried them. They're fantastic. I don't know if you, maybe you've heard of these. I don't know. But I, this was new to me. I enjoyed it. I thought I would share. And uh, it's fantastic. I'm having some nuts right now. <laughs> but yeah, I have salt and vinegar. They're, they're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't sound like too far fetched. I don't know if they would blow my mind that something labeled salt and vinegar would smell <laughs> like salt and vinegar, but. <laughs> I mean, they are good. Yeah, maybe he just thought he, he thought <laughs> maybe he thought the almond smell 
Right. Would overpower it a little bit. No, I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I like it. They are good. I'm not going to argue <laughs> with you there, but I don't know if it's mind blowing. <laughs> He's excited. Oh, uh, yeah. He no, found I'm, something he likes. I'm glad. I'm happy yeah. for him. Thought he would share it with us. We appreciate it. Blue diamond, salt, and vinegar yeah. almonds. Yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. I don't, neither of those flavors are my favorite. Almonds or salt and vinegar, so I'll probably pass on that. But all right. I mean, we know you're the big salt and vinegar yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, so, yeah, all right. You, you put salt and vinegar in front of me, I'll probably eat it. Yeah. Even just in its raw form. Yeah. Just mix it up. Yeah. 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 Or just one shot, like a spoon of salt yeah. and a shot oh, of vinegar. Yeah. You lick Pow. your finger, you dip in the Pow. salt, and you take a little Wow. Most little people would pucker so hard, the yeah. inside mm-hmm. of their body would come out their lips. Yeah. Right. But you, <laughs> no. Continue. you're the guy. You're the guy. You're the guy. All right. <laughs> uh, it looks like a guy might be onto something here. All right. Maybe. Okay. So I'm standing in Timmy's. Huh? There's an older dude, probably like late 50s, early 60s, uh, and he's got uh, got some pretty nice hair, man. Some <laughs> nice that the white hair. It's not gray. It's like uh, bright white. Oh yeah, I like yeah, nice. And uh, it's beautiful, man. Nice, luscious. <laughs> this guy does hand sanitizer in his hands like five times. You know, wishes it around, and then puts it in his hair, and then slicks back his his hair with a hand sanitizer. And I'm just like, whoa, what the heck? Is that a thing? I mean, <laughs> for a guy that's got a receding hairline, I'm just wondering, is that, a, is that the key to hair growth? Because this guy's hair Alcohol? was, it was nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if it's the key. Back in the day when I used to shave my head, yeah. I used Bald. to uh, um, put hand sanitizer on on my hands and then rub it on my head because it felt good. Nice and cool. Like tingle. Hot day. Yeah, I feel really? nice. Yeah. And even now from time to time, I uh, I have long hair now. Longer hair, and if the hair's in my Hippie. face, if I if Hippie. I put hand sanitizer on, I'll I'll slick it back. With that. Really? Yeah, yeah, look I, at his hairline. I think you fellas can attest that I have a pretty good hairline. You have like almost no forehead. Like your, your, uh, you have your this, widow's you, peak comes down to your brow. Yeah, almost. like you are you are solidly hair. Uh-huh. So like maybe a beard is, and top of that. I didn't yeah. uh, I didn't realize that was the key, but maybe I've been uh, boosting my hair follicle yeah. growth for years. Maybe uh, I'm, I don't think there's any science behind that. Try it. But, uh, Start rubbing sanitizer yeah, on your head. Let see us if know. it starts see to grow back. No, you. Oh, I mean. me. Yeah, you're oh, because of my wisps. And stuff. Yeah, you too, Jamie. I know I need it back. Yeah, your hair is running it's from your really face really, fast. Yeah, it like, is running from your big stupid face. Anyway, we got I, one more. I don't yeah. know if that was. I don't know where that came from. Jerk. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got yeah. one more here. A guy brings up a good point after a little tale. Hey, boys. Um, when golfing got done at 820, clubs were in the vehicle. Looked at my phone. We are like, yeah, we go in, grab some food, and the beer will be, you know, out by 9, home by 915. The food wasn't out until 940. Uh, oh, wow. Right. There was only 20 people sitting on the patio. It wasn't a lot of food. It was nothing. It was men's night, so it was nothing but burgers, fries, and nachos and wings. So, like, it wasn't hard, but, like, can you yell at people? Like, it's not the waitress's fault, and the kids in the back are, like, 16. So, like, it's someone's fault, but who do you get mad at? Because I waited an hour and 20 minutes for... Eight wings to come out. Wow. Yeah, Look yeah. for some guidance. What do you do in this situation? That's True. a great question. Oh, that is a tough one. Yeah, because right. you don't want to yell at people, right? Because that's... Hmm. Well, immediately people are going to be like, you pay for your food, you demand service, you yell at yeah, yeah. like, But he's right. Yeah. It's not the waitress's fault, probably. She's been waiting on the food, unless she's the worst waitress ever. Yeah. She might have been. They don't They don't want you to but, wait for your food. No. But like he said, it's somebody's fault. Yeah. If there's a probably, reason why. I'm going to say probably a manager who understaffed. I mean, really. Could be that. Yeah. Or they don't have I enough mean, cooking equipment in the back working. There might be a couple things busted, so yeah. they're having to use. You got, sure. you got 20 people in a restaurant. You got one guy in the back cooking. You sure. got one person serving. That's going to take some time. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's an actually, hour and 20 minutes for that wings. That seems excessive. For eight wings. Yeah. It does you, seem You could have gone to the store. Bought, bought some, some, went home and <laughs> yeah, made them. In yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't yeah. know. I still wouldn't yell at anybody. No. Uh, I'm not. That's just not my character type. I know. You, you did I the know right that's thing. Shocking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I yell a lot yeah. here, but I, I'm not a yell at. I, I think you did the right thing. You yeah, vented yeah. by calling the Dougie line. 613 216 Absolutely perfect. I mean, really, what's yelling going to do? Not going to get you your wings any faster. No. Might get you some spit in them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time. And you make a whole bunch of people's day worse. Your day's already bad. Yeah. I mean, you probably had a terrible round two for that. Just, so, yeah. yeah. Just be kind. Try to. Uh, I guess. 
Sorry. <laughs> That's a long time for eight wings. Though, it boy. is a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Bigs and Bar Show. Hi, yo. Instant answer question time. Instant answer question time. Instant answer question time. Hey, yo, text us. 762-555. Text the show. We'll text you back. No, we won't, but we'll answer fast. How do we enter to win toys? We have to wait till Friday. We'll tell you Friday. But it's pretty easy. Pretty easy way to get. I mean, not easy to win, but easy to get involved with toys. Um, who won the last toys contest? You guys remember the name? Couldn't remember. Absolutely not. His name was no nice idea. guy, though. He was a great guy. Remember we did over Zoom? We had I do Zoom. remember that. He was I remember saying, I think it was Brian, maybe. It was a guy named Brian. I think it is Brian. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was I could be excited. totally wrong. Yeah. Uh, how was your weekly end of work week threesome last Friday? Oh, it was great. It was mm. good. A little slower because of the burgers. Yeah, we were feeling mm. a little sluggish. Yeah. Um, uh, did you guys like back to school shopping as a kid? I did. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I did stuff. too. I Got did. all prepared and then uh, in the first week just threw everything into my locker or backpack and uh, was disorganized until the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. But that, yeah, that day good. before school, I was I was super organized. I loved, I, I loved school. Not because I, I was a good student. I mean, I was a pretty average student. I didn't find it too hard. Didn't put too much effort in. But uh, I, I just going back to school because I lived. My parents lived. My, they were divorced, so all my friends lived up by my mom. Okay. But I spent a good chunk because that's where I went to school. But I spent a good chunk of my summer at my dad's, so I didn't really see my school oh, friends. So it was like a fun reunion. So it was like, hey, what's up? It was nice to oh, see everybody. Nice. But, I mean, whatever. That's a lot about me, and, yeah, it was fun. Hey, do you guys think Ontario will have to do what New Zealand's doing in a complete lockdown? I don't know. It's a lot less people in New Zealand than even Ontario. No, Not even too, 5 million. We're way too wishy-washy here. I do have that clip of the uh, the guy from New Zealand. What did he say? This is just Look, it is a challenge in higher-density areas for people to get outside and to uh, spread their legs. Yeah, yeah spread right. their yeah, legs. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Spread their legs. He, he meant stretch their legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what fair are you most excited for? We don't know. We haven't. I mean, they didn't have I, fairs last year here. I hear the Metcalf Fair is a big deal. Yeah. I know yeah. that. I've, I've driven past the Carp Fair. It looked pretty big. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the last time it was on, it got rained out. I fairs felt- are... All, I like fall fairs. Do you? I love them. Yeah, yeah, I really do. I felt bad. The the Russell Fair was on a couple weekends ago. Yeah. But it was a one-day affair. And it was, it was like nothing. Like, obviously, there was no midway or anything like that. Like, right. You can't go buy a fair with no midway going on. Like You know mm. what I mean? You get all the, there's like a yeah. horse show and sheep shearing and stuff like that. But nothing... <laughs> Nothing no crazy. midway. If it doesn't have a midway, midway Jamie ain't going. coming. You're, You're not going. Right. You're damn right. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of the upcoming election? Uh, uh, waste, waste of money. <laughs> Co- waste of six hundred million dollars. Could have been used for something better. Sure. Like, just pick something. I'm not going to. Su- uh, whatever you suggest is probably better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I think we're going to get the same result. I mean, yeah. not that any of us here are political now, but I think we're going to get a liberal minority, and I, it's going to be a total waste. I time. tried to explain it. Uh, to someone who was getting all up in arms about it, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not party specific. It's like, whoever it is, it's like trying to decide which turd to eat. It's all going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> or the same, sort of. Yeah. I don't know. Some. Yeah. I mean, I really have trouble getting mine any party 100. percent No, you can't. Because it's there's not if you have a brain. Yeah. Because they they have to bow to stupid interest groups and garbage, and it's just a lot of it's lies. And I mean, yeah. if they would, somebody would just come out and be honest about the whole situation and the whole thing. Here's why I'm doing this: because these guys gave me hundred million dollars to run, right? Yeah. So I have to do this for them. But I'm going to do this for them. And here's but because the, they got your me benefit here, of it. But here's how I'm going to help you out. Or here's what I mean. Right. And then the idiots on both sides that actually believe anything any of them say and are screaming at each other. Like, their side is better than the other side. The whole thing is just so exhausting, and I don't know anyone bothers with it. I really don't. I really don't. I <laughs> so, agree. So, or how anyone believes in it. Like, you can vote. Like, I'm going to sure. vote. Yeah, we'll I'm going to vote. vote for whichever one closest aligns to what I think is right for my family. I'm going to do for the vote for the one I think will do the least harm. That's kind of it. And that's it. But who anyone who rah-rahs, like, stands up with signs and yeah. cheers, like, as if, like... Are you the dumbest person alive? Like, are you the dumbest? (laughs) You really believe your party has puristic interest for you over the other? Every aspect of your life. You really Uh believe Uh that this party is 100% pure and the other party is 100% evil? Yeah, yeah. Like, you're that stupid. I can't, I can never have a conversation with you. 
because you're. It's like people that 100 believe in anything. Like it's just. Yeah, what, yeah. Is, what is wrong with you? Like how I, how are you that stupid? <laughs> yeah. Like what? people that put a sign on their lawn. Yeah. So mad at the like it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. which like your side is no better. Like they're all garbage. Wow. He's going nuts. You're doing the Italian ah! hands thing here. He was doing the Italian hands, Jason. Yeah. So Watch I, your back. I, I wish I didn't do upset. this job so I didn't not I mean I love this job, but I wish a part of this job wasn't social media because we have to be in it so much oh. and I'm exposed to so many stupid people so much of my day. We put up a post <laughs> of, of today on, on Facebook about what cheap people bring to a barbecue and yeah. someone included Justin Trudeau in it. Yeah. Like how? <laughs> you can't put up anything yeah. how? without some <laughs> loser chiming in about politics. <laughs> yeah. It's exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Hey, election sucks. Toy starts Friday. Yeah. We're giving away a lot of stuff. <laughs> and we're not lying about it. No, no. we're not. That is true. <laughs> All true. We're truths. actually going to do it. And that is it for another edition of It's an That's it for us today. Thank you for tuning. Someone asked if I could calm down. So, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm going to work on it. Hope <laughs> you have a great day. Whenever you get carried away like that, yeah. I always like like picture you like a big horse. Oh, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't stomp it. Well, I guess yeah, I do. You like, sometimes you do. Foot. Sometimes I stomp. <laughs> I just, I just don't, don't I just. I'm just so tired of stupid yeah, yeah. people. Just so tired. I'm so tired of the world bowing to stupid Keep people. Buying those lottery tickets. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. going to stop you. That is it. That is true. Uh, you have yourself a great day. Again, the deeds, recapping the deeds announcement today was Toys 2021, which starts Friday. You'll get a prize list and we'll give a key away Friday. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your, uh, you know, time and day and sunshine. The rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. <laughs> the Bigs and Bar Show.